what's going on you guys it's too low here in this video i'm going to be telling you guys how to make stubs through flipping and a few other stuff that are obvious a little bit more obvious but flipping i'm going to get through the new strategy because the market's not as lit as it was earlier in the year it's not as lit so i'll tell you ways to work around that and to make stubs like i have in the top right corner 600k let's get in All right, so what you guys want to do is you guys need to start flipping. I'll get to it in a second, but flipping right now, if you do it right, you can make a lot of stubs. That's why you see all of our all of us top players having our stub count so high. It is because we get World Series rewards early, but most of it is flipping. You got to flip different types of stuff and you got to be smart too. There's two things you guys got to do. Obviously other game modes I'll get to it later makes a lot of studs, but the flipping strategy is what I'm most um, intrigued about That's what I want to tell you guys about mostly is a flipping strategy There's different ways to flip and you guys need to be smart about it. Like I said, I dropped a hit um, Sorry, not a hitting tips uh, flipping tips video back at the beginning of the year I think the first month or two of the game and like that won't translate as well right now because the game is the game like everyone has mana and everyone doesn't need live series cards so it's changed for sure like so let's get into the flipping part of the video so it's changed so right here if you look at trout he's soaring up that's a card i wouldn't recommend flipping it's too big of a risk but a guy like dustin may you could take a risk on and one thing you guys can do is make a bet like if you want to pick him up like when he goes down to 90k and if you think he's going to go back up you can pick him up just like Zach Britton if he goes back down and he goes back up you guys can make some stubs right here like Britton went down to like 50k and now he's all the way up to like 80k so there's 30k right there if you guys are smart about that that's one way to make stubs um, if we go down to gold over here, gold still have pretty damn big margins, so make sure you guys are taking advantage of this. Any margin is good margin. 500 subs difference, margin, 600, there's like 900, make sure you guys are taking advantage of that. Look at my stub count, gain some stubs, so when they bring out Ruth, Garrick, all those guys that haven't gotten out. Um, you can see these margins. So if there's like a 500 margin, that builds up 500,000, 1,500, 2,000, and on and on and on and on. Any profit is good profit. So for beginners, if you don't know how to flip, I'll tell you quickly. You put a buy order up for their sell order. So like if the cards, uh, if you put them up for 1,300 and then you sell them for 2,000, there's 700 right there. So that's how you kind of work with the market. The best way to make stubs right here is equipment. That's solid. Don't get me wrong. This is the best way. This is why everyone makes stubs. Look at these differentials. And they fly by fast. 8K, 3K, 2K. Instead of like 300, 500, 600. These are like, these are the real deal. This is what makes you stubs. Like 2K, 4K, 6K. And they all sell relatively fast. So make sure you guys are getting on the equipment right here. You guys are getting on it. All you have to do is before a game, just put up all the orders. After the game's done, sell them all. Play another game. And then so on. Like, if you guys... Um... If you guys... Like, it doesn't even take time or anything. If somebody just undercuts you just like put it up after the game and by the end of the day your goal should be to sell however many equipment just like that you don't have to get frustrated just sitting there sitting there now nah, play a game flip play a game flip play a game flip play a game flip that's what you guys have to do um that'll help you guys a lot for like um for building up stuff because i know some of you guys are close to mana so make sure you guys are using the strategy right here it will help you guys a lot. You guys always ask me how I make my stuff. This is it. 
and like this is good because like they bring out headliners and all this stuff tempting card then i can just easily pick them up and if i don't like them sell them back because of the stubs i have if they bring out a honus wagner type card like willie mays or something i'll be ready for that so and then you go into my active orders for all you beginners and you can cancel adjust your orders all in there and then there's completed orders most of you guys know it but make sure you guys are getting in that equipment that's the most important um flipping strategy right there get in the equipment unlockables nothing to do there sponsorships nothing to do there no profits being made over there so don't even touch that but if we go back here interesting guy here is rob dibble you guys have to look at rob dibble as possible flipping candy because his price is fluctuating like crazy make a read and if it's the right decision do it a guy who's not that good of um, a strategy is ben zobris because i don't think he's going to drop or go higher he's just a good card he's going to stay there and he's expensive so there's always a risk you guys can also hop in that exchange exchange your common to bronze bronze to silver silver to gold like i always explain to you guys quick saw the gold this event i can't stress how important this event is if you guys have time quick count suck yes but if you're not doing anything play it those packs are juiced i'm telling you another thing you guys want to do is head into conquest this mother's day conquest is where i pulled the trouty it's where i pulled the trouty right here in the mother's day conquest they give you like two or three bonds a half a pack from not sure standard packs it's juiced in this so make sure you guys do this for all my guys who are trying to get better you're gonna say it's gonna mess up your timing do it before do it late at night before you go to sleep and then come back in the day and do custom practice you'll be good rank seasons obviously you make a crap ton of stuff showdown you make a crap ton of stuff so what you guys want to do in a day um if you guys are on the game for maybe three four hours i don't know put it in the comments how long you guys are on usually for a day so if you guys are on for like three four hours what you guys want to do flip for the first 30 minutes to an hour 45 minutes 30 minutes hop into a rank game hop into events game hop into showdown get all those done and you'll see how much stubs you make you guys can even note it down just to like tell other people later like how much stubs you can make by literally just doing stuff literally just playing the game you can make stubs flipping is most important though you guys need to get that down if you guys need any other extra tips like if somebody's doing this what do i do should i buy this just let me know you guys can always hit me up on twitter tell me do you think this is worth flipping because some of those are bait i'm not gonna lie like i think the milk and cookies one who's that's 24k is anybody really gonna buy them for 24k i mean maybe yeah yeah somebody will but like the odds that it's you are like pretty low so stuff like that stay away from the gloves the cleats the babe ruth ritual you can hit me up on twitter dm that to larry literally just tell me i'll help you out i'm, I'm not don't shy away from asking for help because you could be losing stubs if you don't um flip the right stuff most of you guys know but the people who don't know don't be afraid to ask um because all the bat skins are the same they're the same um contact and power it's just for the looks so mostly um those aren't being bought for 24k they're just putting up orders because people like the design so those are the ones you want to stay away from go to ones that are, that actually improve people's games like cleats and stuff so that's basically all of flipping right there all of making stubs if you guys want to get a god squad that's what you got to do like i literally got zobris man on sheffield all those guys with 600k stubs and also i bought hamels and dibble so if you take those guys away first of all i like them both but if i don't for some reason for some reason if i don't like them i can easily just flip them um for my stubs back and i have close to 800k so i'm sitting right about 800k um unless like i'll probably just keep them honestly but I, if i didn't like them i would have 800k 
Um, trying to get to that milli mark. It's just that the two too many cards are tempting that are coming up. I want to get to that milli mark, but these it's just that I get lazy flipping some days. I'm not gonna lie, just because I have everything in stubs. But if mana was on the table, better not be lazy, guys. You guys better be putting up orders like crazy, like crazy, 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 and getting it done. Flipping is not hard. A lot of people just ask questions about flipping and don't do. Get it done. It's easy. Once you guys do it, you'll realize how easy it is. It's easy. The equipment, you guys might wonder what are all these guys' secrets. It's just the equipment. Trust me, it's just the equipment when I'm telling you that. That's how I make my stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to get you guys your stubs up. I'm trying to get you guys mana. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button if you appreciate the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.